Greetings, everybody. I am Lobo. Welcome back to Resident Evil 7. So, first order of business for this episode. I got some pest control issues I need to take care of. Got this nuisance pest running around over here that really needs to get off my lawn. So, first order of business. We're gonna we're gonna deal with him. Hello. Goodbye and good riddance. Oh no! 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 Okay. <laughs> All right. Now that that's taken care of. Suppose we could go ahead and make our way over to the birthday party. Really don't want to. I don't want to mess with Lucas. This is going to be like the worst. Oh, supplements. What do these do? Pills that can affect the nervous system can't be used as is. Make them into medicine first. Okay. Well, let me go ahead and stow these away. Clear out some inventory space. Actually, if I miss those, did I miss anything else over here? Did I actually search this area? I mean, I know, I know I looked through here, but I mean, did I look thoroughly? Is what I'm asking. See, look at this. Chem fluid. This would have been nice to have. I'm gonna need to kind of, you know, thoroughly police the grounds here and just make sure we got everything that we're going to need. See? See? Look at this. Separating agent. Hidden over here behind the bushes. I, uh... I don't know. I need, I need to spend more time actually looking for stuff. This is why we I run out of stuff so often. Ah, see, what's this? What's this? This is a thing you're only going to find if you're actually searching, right? I need to search more. Hey, repair kit. The gun repair kit. Excellent. We can use that. Yeah, see, here's something else. Here's something else. All right. All right, so one, three, five, seven, nine. We need to get a seven on there somehow. We need the shadow of a seven on there. It's, okay, hold up. All right. So, this is what we use a toy axe for, right? This is what we use a toy axe for. We can make this into the shadow of a seven. Oh, okay, we gotta match it up to the, uh... Is it too big? Okay. Maybe not, then. No. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, don't listen to me. We got it. <laughs> We got it. All right, and that gets us a stabilizer. Excellent. You know what? We might as well go ahead and use this. Uh, increase our reload speed, right? Yeah. Let's go ahead and inject ourselves back here in the shrubbery behind the house because that doesn't look suspicious at all. I'm wondering what else I've missed then, because, like, obviously I've missed a ton of stuff. Like, even in this one little area, I've missed a ton of stuff. So what I'm going to do? Is drag my face through the remaining shrubbery and figure out what kind of other stuff I missed. So I know this video has gotten kind of sidetracked from what I told you guys the original plan was, but we need to make a decision here. Do we want to repair the broken shotgun or do we want to repair the broken handgun? Honestly, I would like the shotgun because, I mean, who doesn't want an upgraded shotgun, right? But then again, shotgun ammo is kind of scarce, whereas we could create more handgun ammo if we find the chem fluid. So that might be a better choice. Like repair the broken handgun. I mean, the handgun could really stand to be upgraded. That's kind of weak, right? Kind of weak. At least without the enhanced handgun ammo. So maybe we just go ahead and pull this out and do the handgun. But how do we do it? How do we do it, you may ask? Well, probably... 
do this. Yeah, and that gets us the M19 handgun. Relatively powerful handgun, in bad condition, but still looks usable. Yeah, I mean, why not, right? Why not? How bad condition, though? This isn't gonna jam up on me, is it? If so, I'm gonna be very upset. <laughs> Alright, so we'll go ahead and replace our Glock. And I suppose we can go ahead and store that back in our chest over here. Does it get stored with the ammunition, though? Like, could I eject the magazine and take the ammo out, or is it automatically removed for me? I don't see it. Then again... I don't see my enhanced hand ammo here, either. So that's not great. Alright, we'll keep some psycho stimulants on us. We'll also keep some gunpowder on us. And hopefully the psycho stimulants might help us find some chem fluid, which we can then combine with the gunpowder to make more ammo. Right? Right. Okay. So I guess it's time to go ahead and make our way to paradise. What happens if I put these in backwards? Put the red card in the blue? No. Can't do that. Just throw Lucas's whole system out of whack, you know? Alright. Lucas, here I come. You wanna party? Let's freaking party. You get your wish. Alright, now as far as the, uh, the psycho stimulants go, uh, if this area is like Marguerite's area, uh, I'm going to use these once we get inside if we have the opportunity to search around. That's what I'm kind of banking on here is that they're going to give us the opportunity to, you know, gather up supplies and ammo before actually throwing us into anything, right? All right, Lucas. What you got up here? Let's play. Oh, yeah, we're going to play some games, all right? We're going to play some games, Lucas. I break your stuff? No, that's unfortunate. Um, I did clear out my inventory, kind of put the burner away. Um, even though I do think it would be poetic justice to kind of set Lucas on fire the way he set Clancy on fire. In fact, you know what? We're going to go ahead and grab the burner. Because I'm not stalling. I do think I want to set Lucas on fire. Just give him a taste of his own medicine. I like Clancy. You know, Clancy didn't deserve that. Lucas does. I'm not bloodthirsty or anything, okay? I just promised this guy I would teach him some manners, and what better way to teach somebody manners than to give them a taste of their own medicine, right? So we got our burner now. We got our guns. We got our ammo. We are locked and loaded. We're about to lock and load, pull the trigger, and, uh, you know, some of you know. All right, well, glad I didn't take those psycho stimulants. Because, uh, there is really nothing to this room, is there? Alright, so one option then, yeah? Sit down in this nice comfy chair in front of this TV and, you know, expect nothing bad to happen, right? I'm sure we're fine. You 
can um, crawl around underneath that filthy, rotten house all you want looking for them ingredients, but you ain't gonna find a goddamn thing, Ethan. You make that serum? Ooh, baby. <laughs> You're gonna have to come through me. You hear? Oh, come on, Ethan. What do you say? I'm looking forward to it. Yep. Pretty much what I expected. I mean, look at this. The chair is so close to the TV, like we could have pushed it back, or even better, we could have got behind it and just watched it from back here, and then, you know, if something bad's gonna happen, boop. See that? Just boop. And we're fine. But no. Either wants to sit right here, press his face up against this thing. It's bad for your eyesight. It's just bad news all around. All right, <laughs> this uh, Lucas has got me in a bad mood. I would really, really at this point like to have my enhanced hand and get handgun ammo. It's like I want to pour everything I got into Lucas. To be honest with you, would it be stupid to have two handguns on me? Like John Woo, this thing, akimbo, you know? I mean, hmm. I don't know. I do want to pick up the Glock. Then again, I've wasted so much time already. Then again, we're playing on my time, right? This is my time, not your time, Lucas. So I'm gonna go pick up my Glock. We can get out of here, that is. Yeah. Alright, I got two more weapons I was planning on having. I got next to no inventory space. We got traps set up, it seems. But, you know what? We're fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. You have got a good eye. Shut your mouth. That's a mannequin head on a shelf. That's uh, the treasure photo, right? That's the treasure photo, I think. Alright, um, so I think the treasure should be here then, so we'll search for that in just a minute. But first, let's go ahead and break this box open. We're not going to use, like, you know... Bullets on it, that would be silly. You get some burner fuel out of it though, so that's good. Alright. So the treasure... Should be here then, yeah? That's what that picture was, right? Pretty sure that's what it was. Hmm. All right, we'll get rid of this real quick. Then we'll uh, we'll kind of search the room. Careful now! <laughs> they fight back. Handgun ammo. That's good. Um, I might need to have another look at that photo. All right, let's refresh our memory, shall we? So, yeah, indeed, a mannequin head on a shelf. But this one, the one we're looking for, has a hat on. Okay, so mannequin head, on a shelf, wearing a hat, on top of a treasure. That's what we're looking for here. This is definitely the area for it. I mean, there's no mistake in that, right? No mistake in that. We just gotta be on the lookout. Well, You, you didn't do anything, Lucas. Your trap was dumb. It didn't accomplish anything. What are you talking about? Alright. Ah, yes, there we go. There we go. Hmm. Well, we're gonna make sure that we're safe before we pick that up, right? Let's go ahead and get rid of this thing. I don't care. All right. And that nets us a repair kit. That means we can fix the shotgun. Guys, we can fix the shotgun. Kind of want to fix the shotgun, if I'm being honest with you. 
Oh, did you look at that? Trying to be sneaky, huh? Trying to be sneaky. So, here's the thing. I told myself that I wasn't going to go back again, that we were just going to play the game. But, you know, that was a lie. That was a big fat lie. So, I guess it would make sense to go ahead and store this along with the ammo inside it. We're going to take a little bit of a hit there, but we can go ahead and pull out our broken shotgun, right? And we can repair this, and that should give us a better shotgun overall. The M21, which doesn't hold much ammo, but packs quite a punch. So we are taking a little bit of a hit on ammo, but it's a better shotgun overall, right? So we got this going for us, 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 we got our Glock going for us, and we got our grenade launcher going for us. Which is kind of ridiculous now that I think about it. Also, what might be a good idea is if uh, we're moving slowly through this area, we don't really need this psycho stimulant, right? So, if we were to go ahead and break this down using the separating agent, that gets us a chem fluid. And we can go ahead and use that chem fluid to make a little bit more handgun ammo. Yeah. I know I'm ridiculous. You don't have to tell me. But that is the last time I'm going back. Unless I have another reason to go back. That's what I'm promising you guys, alright? Yeah, that's not suspicious at all. That's what I'm promising you guys. Okay. Well. Oh. <laughs> I'm getting paranoid, apparently. That's fine. Nah, see, I see what's happening here. I see what's happening here. Let me tell you guys what I think is happening here. What I think is happening here is we are not going to be using our knife again. We're not throwing it away. We're just putting it over here. We're not going to be using that again inside the funhouse, all right? We're going to be shooting everything because... What you doing again, crazy, yep, because you're an idiot, Lucas. That was obvious, okay? Lucas is trying to trick me. He's trying his hardest. But his incompetence is just, uh, staggering. Alright, way out up here that we can't access, which means we have to go through there, and there are a couple little traps he has set up for us in here. That we need to disarm. Though this one may be a little hard to get to. Unless we creep in. Okay, we're good. Ooh, guess I'm gonna have to step up my game. Uh, I mean, could you please? I'm on the bottom rung, as is. Alright. Well, apparently I could have done all my crate stuff right here. That's good to know. <laughs> ah, I'm sorry, guys. I really am. I'm sorry. Alright, well, let's, uh, oh, it's the birthday room. Yep. That's what we're getting ready to do. So we need to remember the password is loser. Lucas is a loser, right? We need to remember guy holding up a thing, bird on a thing, um, alien baby. Okay. I know. Good password, right? Mm, why don't you try 0814? No! 0621. No, 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 it's 0514. Oh, come on. Take a chance. You never know. All right. It's just random guesses, huh? Random choices? We can go with the first one. It's not like we have really have a choice, right? It's just... Oh, wait, we do have a choice. We can cancel, can't we? Tick, I... Top. Tick. Top. Tick. Top. <laughs> top. Top. All right. What you gonna do, Lucas? Ah, I see. 
I see. Okay, so we're not going in there. This got interesting. Yeah, I mean, why have me do the same puzzle twice, right? Okay. I'm interested again. Milder that interest may be. I know I've been dragging my feet. I'm well aware I've been dragging my feet. Like, I haven't been looking forward to to doing this mission again. Doing the same puzzle and stuff over and over again. Like, the, well, the same puzzle that we already did over and over again. Um, and I haven't been looking forward to dealing with Lucas because, I don't know, it's just more obnoxious and it's scary. Like, this, this whole thing has just been obnoxious, not scary, right? But, I mean, this isn't really meeting my expectations, at least... Yes. At least as far as this part goes, right? So... Um... We can, we can, I'm going to stop trying to drag my feet so much. Anyway, uh, what do we want to craft up here? I'm thinking maybe a first aid med. Like, we'll swap back and forth. Ammo, first aid med. Just make sure that we're uh, stocked up on everything that we need to be stocked up on, right? Probably a good idea. All right, and this leads us out into that hallway we just looked down. Which gives us some shotgun shells, okay. And we can have this open to ring around the rosy in case we need to. Yes, yes. Alright. Now what are we dealing with over here? I saw- I hear it! I- nope! Okay, hold on. Bad- bad position. Hi, where did you come from? Listen, I'm gonna need you to, uh, to stop what you're doing right now, okay. Well, let's block. How about that? That didn't help very much, did it? No, we need to... Okay, everything is just going terribly. We're in a bad room. I saw the trap. I saw the trap. We need to get out of here. You need to stop hitting me, please. Wow, it all goes downhill so quickly, doesn't it? That was terrible. That was the worst. The literal worst. Oh my goodness. I can't believe that. I got careless. I got careless. I got excited. And then I got careless. That's kind of the way it goes, doesn't it? Dang it. Alright. And there were traps set up in here. Yeah. Many, many traps set up in here. Okay. Well, let's not be careless about these ones. And pop that. Let's go ahead and pop that. And we need to pop this guy right here. Can we close this? I have to stand up to close it. Okay! We can consume these to recover a small amount of health. I don't want to use the last first aid med, so... How much health does this actually do? Okay. But we're still in the red. That brings us up to yellow. That was... Uh, I don't know. That, that was probably another stupid decision I made. What is What happened to me in the last few seconds to make to make me like this. I need to slow down. We got and look, there's steroids right here. We could have used the steroids. Alright. You need to slow down a little bit. And just think about what we're doing, right? Because I have no idea what just happened there. Like it just snowballed, you know? Just snowballed. But we're gonna go ahead and uh be the definition of that uh that R word people like to throw around. Where we overcome stuff, right? Resilience! We're about to be the definition of resilience. We'll keep that right there. That way we know it's there, making a note it's there, in case we need to heal and also increase our health in the middle of battle, right? Alright. Resilience. 
Uh-uh. No. Retreat. That's the R word I was thinking of. Retreat. That's that's the better R word. I don't want to deal with these guys. Hi. Okay, not great. Not great. Let's move. Okay, there's one down. Need to work on my aim. You're you're on me, so we're going to ring around the rosy. And are you too big to make it through the door? That's actually good to know if you are. You're not too big. You're just the right size. All right. Oh, great. You're here. Okay. Boom. No. Okay, I was I was expecting him to go down. But that didn't happen. And now we're done. Now it's over. Nope, might not be. Come on. Yes. Okay. I'm alive. I'm in a bad state, but I'm alive. Which is more than I can say for you. <sighs> Dang, this is, this is the basement all over again, isn't it? All right, we'll keep you right there. Yeah, it's uh it's falling apart. Am I the right Yeah, I have the right handgun equipped. There we go. All right, so how is our ammunition situation looking? I mean, not great. Not terrible, but not great. You remember that other R word I was throwing around earlier? Ridiculous? Turns out, not ridiculous to have brought every single thing in my arsenal with me. Instead, we were a different R word. We were right. <laughs> we were right to do so. All right. Let's uh put our resilient pants back on and try to overcome this barn. I don't like this. I don't like the look of this area. This, this looks like it's going to be a very bad area. But this looks like it might be a good room accessible from that bad area, so maybe not. We don't have another tape, do we? No. Oh, but we have a safe space. I like that. I very much like that. All right, um... Let me, uh, let me take a little break and recover, and I'll be back with you guys <laughs> in just a little bit. Okay. I've calmed down a little bit. We're good to go. Back into this madness. We just need to remember block, right? We need a block. We need to move. We need to not get cornered. We need to just not not do dumb stuff, right? Just not do dumb stuff in the heat of the moment. That's what we need to do. All right, we got chem fluid, but no herbs because I made the uh, decision to eat all my herbs, and they weren't even tasty herbs. And now I don't have any herbs to make any more first aid meds. Wonderful. I don't think I have any in my chest, do I? I need to check my chest. I don't think I have any in my chest. You know, I am sick and tired of dealing with past Lobo's mistakes, all right? Ridiculous. If you see that guy, tell him he's ridiculous. No, of course you didn't have any leftovers. You ate everything. You ate everything. We might as well just go ahead and make up some more handgun ammo. We're going to need it. Okay. What was I said about calming down? I might be losing my mind a little bit. Might be. Okay, so we have to jump down. And that means that this is going to be a boss fight area. 
Lucas. Lucas, man. I have a lot of frustration I need to vent right now. And it's not even your fault, it's my own fault. And I'm too busy muttering myself to see what I even picked up. Ah, strong chem fluid. Man, that would really come in handy if I had an herb. We could craft a strong first aid med. And that would be beautiful. That would be delicious. We have to get in there somehow, don't we? Yeah. Looks like we're going to be coming up there from underneath, which means we have no choice but to jump down. And that's going to start some mess I really don't feel like getting into right now, but... We don't really have a choice, do we? No. We gotta handle Lucas. Though we could prep for this, right? We could prep the field. And potentially get some supplies ready to be picked up, right? Yeah. Okay. Anything else? That's the way we came from. Alright! Let's do it. Ah, we need a battery. Good! Good! That means this this isn't gonna kick off straight straight off the bat, right? Just gives us a little bit more time to prepare. A little bit more time to pick up some shotgun shells. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. I didn't give you a piece of trivia for this episode, did I? Let me go ahead and rectify that mistake. Look at this. Oh, man. Look at this. And we still got this guy. We're not in as bad shape as I was making it out to be. I was overreacting. All right. But the trivia for this episode. Uh, the original concept for this game had zombies returning. I mean, there's no zombies in this game, but it, the original concept did have the zombies coming back. There's our battery. Oh, put that in a minute while I'm done talking. Um, and the zombies were supposed to be sound sensitive, right? Oh, we got an herb. That means we can use this and combine that with my favorite snack to make this. Yes. Uh, zombies were supposed to be sound sensitive and like there was a mechanic where you'd have to push a button and hold your breath or else the zombies would hear you but that was scrapped because uh am i being paranoid yeah i'm just being paranoid that's just like a winch or something yeah uh, that was scrapped because uh the creators felt it made the game too tense anyway let's go ahead and uh Add some tension to our own game. Ah! Ha ha ha! Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the barn fight! The barn fight. Keep it clean, gentlemen, we have rules. Yep, typical, Lucas, typical. I had the sneaking suspicion you wouldn't fight me yourself. Alright, bring it on. Oh, that's a big boy! That's a big boy! It's I don't like that. That's so true, Lucas. Wouldn't expect that kernel wisdom coming from you. You know what? I don't want to risk it blowing up on the thing. We're going to wait till we got a clear shot. And then, we need to get ourselves out of this corner. Excuse me. Excuse me. Coming through. Nope. 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 We need to get out of here. You doing okay, buddy? Oh, we need to get to the elevator. That's what we need to do. We need to egress immediately. That's what we need to do. Oh, that smarts. Okay, um, quickly, quickly. Yes. Alright, we're good. We're good. We're not good. We can't use that. Uh, time out. Time out. I made a, I made a critical error. Excuse me. Okay. 
Um, I think we did our best on the stairs, so we're just gonna continue with this. If we can manage it. Alright, and then... Yep, we'll tire him out. All the time! All the time! Alright, yeah, we'll just, uh, we'll defeat this guy with cardio. How about that? How about that? Uh, he was never my favorite anyways. You gotta be kidding me. Alright. What else you got in store for me, Lucas? Or was that it? Okay. Well, I suppose there's no point in having this up here anymore, right? So we can go ahead and bring our knife back up here. Just in case we run out of ammo, because that's going to be our last resort. I mean, not that we're particularly low on anything. We're actually doing pretty decent right now. Alright, so now can we use the elevator? We can, yes. Alright, let's get out of here. I mean, all in all, that could have gone worse, you know? That last fight didn't actually go so bad. Everything else went terribly. Oh no, the first part was was pretty good. Then it went to really bad. Then it went to alright. You know? Ah, yes, of course. Of course. You know, it, it could have gone much worse. We took a few hits, but nothing too major. And we survived. Alright, so I mean, what more can you really ask for in this situation? You know? We live to, to see it through to the next, uh... Next terrible thing that's coming for us. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and keep moving. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't think he's really a threat to us. Ah, you are a sight for sore eyes. Hey, Clancy. Alright, so what are we going to do with this chem fluid? I'd like to make a first aid med. Fortunately. I think we're going to save it for the first aid med. You're next. Lucas, ah, 1408, you're next. 1408. That might be a reference to, uh, the short story by Stephen King. Can't confirm that. But it might be, so that, that could be a little bonus piece of trivia for you. You know what, before we head down there, let's make sure we're not missing anything up here. I think we're good. Ah! And we've returned, so... Apparently that was necessary. And we still have to do this. 1408, of course. That's the code, 1408. Alright, well next episode I guess we're proceeding with our birthday party. And hopefully finally taking care of Lucas so we can actually move on with the game that I was enjoying so much. But I think that's going to do it for us today, guys. So, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please be sure to hit that little thumbs up button. That would mean a whole lot to me. And if you want to see more, next episode, I promise to take off my cranky pants. Because I thought I put on my resilient pants and to put on my cranky pants instead. It's a thing that happens. Uh, but, yeah. Also consider subscribing, you know? Uh, but that's going to do it for us today. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I deeply appreciate it. And until next time, I am Lobo, I'll see you guys later.